Chris Jenkins for Charlotte Vibe, and we had some news that came out of Carolina Panthers camp today. Both of those were injury related, so I'm going to get to them. Number one was, I want to say quarterback every time I do this, but kicker Graham Gano was placed on injured reserve. He hasn't played the past two games, so that means that Chandler will be our kicker for those remaining two games. Uh, because of the move of placing Graham Gano on injured reserve, we did promote a player from the practice squad to the 53-man roster, and that was tight end Jason Kander Lane. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. I hadn't saw the cheat sheet yet on that. And then we also signed two other players. So we, by promoting Land to the 53-man roster, we had an empty spot. Uh, in that spot, we signed linebacker Antoine Williams. And then we also had another signing, which was offensive lineman Landon Turner. Both of those went to the practice squad in that second uh, addition to the practice squad was because one of our players got picked up to Miami's active 53-man roster, so they left one more spot open. Those are all the roster changes. Now, the big one of the day, in case you've been hiding under a rock or in a cave, I don't know where you could have been and not heard this news, but quarterback Cam Newton will be rested, presumably for the rest of the season, to let his shoulder heal. Now, in that move, he is still going to remain on the active 53-man roster. And the reason for that is Rivera feels like you never know what's going to happen. But he will be inactive for the game. So he'll just be on the roster for the uh, accessibility to him in case we need to before the end of the season. And talking about that decision, you know, Cam's been a guy who has historically been uh, very resistant to being uh, taken out of sitting out. And so Rivera was asked about how Cam has responded, and he said he really feels like it was a lot of frustration. So here's a little bit more from Rivera talking about that part of Cam's decision. I think because of the frustration of it, because I, I think more so than anything else, he knows that once he gets sore, once he gets tired out there, it's tough for him to do the things that he's capable of. And uh, he thinks that, and I, I really believe he thinks also like we do, that you know, a healthy Taylor's you know, a good opportunity for us. So as you may imagine, the mood in the locker room and press conference are continuing to change because this team has a, a significant losing streak that they're on. There's jobs that are on the line. And Coach Ron Rivera, I don't know if it started one year ago or two years ago, just started really being uh, resistant to talking about injuries and, and medical things behind it. So today, Joe Person of The Athletic went to ask a question related to medical uh, issues, and here's Rivera's response. Joe, you'll have to ask other people. Then I'm not the one. Again, when we start talking about medical things, I don't know. I didn't know if you I'm were just, I'm just, again, I'm game. not gonna get into that factor. Okay, that's not up for me to, to determine. I'm not the doctor. I'm not I the, I'm a trainer, and, and I'm telling you that I, I'm not. I don't get into those parts of the conversation. Mean, so, okay, well, the, don't ask me the question, Joe, because I just told you the answer. I'm not gonna be able to tell you those things. Okay. Those guys, that, that's them. I, I, there are certain things that I try to control, and that's football on the field, okay? This stuff right now, I, and I'm telling you right now, if you let me finish my question, my answer to your question, okay, I'm not going to be able to tell you all those things specifically, okay? You're asking me to speculate on something that I don't know, and it's not fair for me to do that, okay? I don't need people outside, you folks or anybody else outside, drawing conclusions and speculating. The people that know are the people that should be asked, not me. So, yeah, that was a very interesting exchange between uh, reporter Joe Person and Coach Ron Rivera, which I haven't seen before. You know, like I said, obvious reasons for tensions and, and emotions to run high these days because there's a lot of frustration that's going on around this team and their current losing streak. Now, something that I always like to bring to the table for you guys that follow me and my coverage is some behind-the-scenes tidbits and trinkets. So there's two... Two things I'll share with you today uh, that occurred in the locker room. One was I had seen a, what, an envelope in, in one player's locker, and I didn't say anything. And then I saw another envelope when I was talking to a different player. And I said, hey, are those you guys' checks? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, can I touch it? And honestly, I don't know what his response was, but I was like, no way. I'm not going to touch your check, man. That's just too much money in an envelope. And the other being, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'll challenge a guy to a foot race, but I've stopped doing that because nobody would take me up on it. But today, a player heard about it and he seemed very willing to take me up on it, but you know, I'm getting older, just had a birthday last week. I, I quickly declined and retracted from that conversation and moved on to talking about other things. So there were a few light moments I was able to have in the locker room. I want to share that with you guys. So as always, 
Appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I still, believe it or not, have some very good interviews that are coming to you. And if you sign up, if you hit the bell notifications, you'll be sure to see them. So as always, thank you guys for watching.